Hello, dear friends, partners, customers, and innovators of NXP. Happy New Year 24, and a very warm welcome from me to you here at CES 24 in Las Vegas. As you can see, I had a high-speed flying start into the year, and this is, of course, also due to fantastic form factors like this Damon motorcycle here, electric motorcycle, high-speed motorcycle that is fully equipped with NXP silicon, the Winfast car next to me that contains a lot of NXP silicon, but also a wealth of additional form factors that show how NXP is with its partners and customers changing the world. So if you look, for example, here to this big ECU, this has been made based on NXP S32G silicon, so our big gateway microprocessors. This has been made by Applied EV, an Australian company, and this is the backbone for an autonomous driving, highly functional, safe vehicle platform. So these are the brains that are operating your rolling robots. And when we talk about rolling robots, of course, you can also shrink your form factor much more. So we have, for example, here, vision-based autonomous lawnmowers, um, from, from uh, Landroid, uh, and these type of solutions are of course much, much smaller, much, much simpler to run than the big vehicles uh, and autonomous driving solutions for real roads, but uh, equally important in, in requirements to power efficiency, autonomy and functional safety. And talking about functional safety and robots, of course you can also think of tiny little robots that make our life much, much better and easier, but they don't have the wheels. Look here at what we are doing with our customer Insulet. So we are partnering with Insulet and Insulet is a super innovative company in the medical sector. And Insulet is building these insulin monitoring and pumping devices. So insulin management devices that are autonomous, do the anomaly detection on a highly trustworthy, functional, safe and secure level. And they are of course changing and optimizing all of our lives, people who are suffering with diabetes get to a very, very new quality in life. So these topics are very, very close to my heart. And last but not least, outside of our booth here, of course, we have to power all of these robots that I'm talking about here. And ideally, we take, of course, the photons that are coming in here from the sun, we convert them into electrons, we manage them, we store them and we bring them into the batteries of your rolling robots. Uh, we manage your microgrid in your house or we store the solutions, the energy uh, here in these batteries, as you can see them for building storage solutions as well. So having shown you all of that, what you can see outside of the booth with our partners, how our partners are using our capabilities. Now, please follow me to the inside of the booth for all of you developers, of course, pay attention now. I provide you the workbenches and the toys for building your own robots. And if you follow me just around the corner here, if you want to build an NXP enabled robot, this here is of course one of the fantastic guinea pigs for you robot developers. It is one of our little tiny rovers that you can get all sensors in that you need for such uh, rovers full autonomy, you can program it, and uh, uh, our, our specialists like Ian will help you getting them up and rolling and running for your own fa form factors. So approach us when you want to build a smart, connected, autonomous device, and we can help you getting this into life. And now join me into our secret area here. I'm going to show you what we have lined up for you. So follow me for, to, uh, to the first demo. And this demo is, of course, everything around how do we manage the energy flow from the sunroof into the microgrid, the microgrid of your smart property at home, including your rolling smart property. And then, of course, it is all about how you manage your vehicles, how do you deal with changing weather conditions, how do you do the right power conversion. So take the electrons out of the solar cells operate your home equipment or store them at home? How do you manage all of the communication between the different devices? And how do you maybe load also back to the big smart grid around your microgrid, so outside of your house and outside of your property? So all of that you can see here in an educational way from NXP. But then, of course, what we're going to show you is also how does this look like in real form factors? So the next partner for us for charging 
is Wallbox. Wallbox is based completely on NXP silicon, doing exactly that electrons come out of your house, need to get into your car or the opposite direction. Wallbox enables silicon functional safe and secure NXP. Then, how do you manage your entire real estate and your entire property? Well, we are partnering with innovators like Honeywell. Honeywell is of course known as a brand name for a lot of businesses, but also building management and building control. Now, very big buildings up to very small buildings. This is the Honeywell Beats um, uh, system, scalable platforms, AI enabled scalable platforms. And these platforms are sitting on NXP iDynamics 8 processors at the moment. And I'm just coming out of Orlando innovation workshops with Honeywell. We're gonna run big announcements here at CES as well. So super exciting, stay tuned. You will read more about Honeywell NXP activities on the building management side for sure and then of course what we have here is i mentioned it earlier as well storage energy storage in your houses e-info chips one of our customers has taken the nxp silicon here in a very very nice visible way you have the different junction boxes the battery cell controllers and the battery management system by the way similar to what we have in cars here Basically the car battery management system without wheels for your house, for your property. And now of course, my dream comes true because when you have all of these capabilities and you have an electric vehicle at home, now how do you make sure that you also have an, uh, sorry, that you, that, that you have a um, rolling power bank at home, not only a car. So what you need is, you need to have a bi-directional energy management you load energy out of the car battery into the house or the different direction. And this communication is not trivial, not easy because you're dealing with a lot of energy. You have to communicate, of course, on the car side to the central compute unit here, our gold box uh, that contains our big gateways. You have to have the entire power line communication together with partners. We are enabling that. Go into the house have the same communication stack here again, and you have our IDOTM XS, the 1060 uh, RT here in this case, to manage the smart microgrid and your smart rolling um, uh, battery platform. So all of that very nicely managed, encapsulated, highly functional, safe and secure NXP platforms. And now if you're, if you're looking here, moving to these rolling sensor platforms, you see basically our radar sensors on top. You see, if you take here a picture over my shoulder, the point clouds moving. This is basically the radar sensors from NXP looking across the entire room here. And these point clouds that you can see moving are these, uh, these uh, systems that you, uh, uh, where, where you can see people walking. Now, just around the corner here, <coughs> We, we, we have a high resolution system. We have a high resolution unit from, um, from our partner Zender. And Zender is working on NXP silicon to over hundreds of meters, precisely 240 meters, distinguish whether there's two walking people a meter away from each other. We are going at least one and a half times further than competitor silicon on the resolution capabilities of the NXP silicon together with the sender uh, multi-sensor uh, approach here. And we have a high resolution system that I internally dared to call the LIDAR killer. That was my code name, my wish of, over the last five years. Why? Because it has a resolution that is good enough to replace LIDAR systems in a lot of driving conditions, 300 meter line of sight, and you can spot a motorcycle and distinguish it from the obstacles around it. So really, really ultra advanced, ultra cool. Now, from here, how do we integrate these sensing capabilities into the architecture of the best uh, setup, uh, most uh, smartest rolling robots? And if you're looking here over Jim's shoulders, this is basically the entire setup, the entire architecture for software-defined vehicles. So all of this is the NXP uh, solution, how to build a robot architecture, how to personalize your vehicle, how to learn, run AI and machine learning uh, on, the, on the device, and of course, all of that in a trustworthy way. Functional safety must not be compromised. And what you're seeing here is you see the different microprocessors and microcontroller solutions, the S32Ks for the zonal activities, 
in the middle our S32 flagship, the S32 N vehicle. Uh, and of course, what you can see here is you can change here. Jana was changing the personality of the use cases for me. You can see here the different use cases when which unit needs to be applied, is loaded, and uh, we built all of this silicon, but also the software platform on top that our customers in an easy way can apply that and you don't need a PhD thesis here to get your robot architecture cleaned up and running in a smart way. If, if you follow me uh, here, then basically what we have is we have a cloud studio as well from NXP, a software platform based on the S32 vehicle uh, computers again. You have the cockpit display, uh, of course, operated, the iDynamics 95 that I'm going to introduce to you in a, in a second. And then what we also have is, of course, our S32G platforms, again, reaching directly in the cloud, for example, for topics where you want to learn how to optimize your battery charging, your driving uh, settings. You can learn in the cloud, you transport the data from the gateway in a secure and safe way to the cloud and get the learning back and optimize the behavior of your smart robot that has the newest architecture that you want to build. And if you follow me just over here, what we then have lined up here very nicely is our newest flagship for the in-cabin infotainment. So this is our iDynamics 95 microcontroller, microprocessor. You see it here in the test board. It is able to operate eight cameras, so drowsiness monitoring cameras, in-cabin cameras to the outside. Uh, it is, of course, super well connected, be it Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, all, the, all the data that needs to be shuffled uh, for the infotainment uh, part as well. is operating here in this uh, use case, dual displays, and is linked to our motion sensing uh, control as well, motion sensing, gesture sensing control as well. So basically, a complete unit, including the, uh, the mobile phone charging, including uh, uh, all of the features that a driver might need around the driver workplace and the in-cabin um, the passengers uh, might need for a full infotainment experience. So very, very cool coming from one device, iDynamics 95, our newest flagship of the iDynamics family. Ending the automotive setup, of course, we are also talking about our capabilities in ultra wideband, and we are just walking the talk here. What I had promised last year that we can do ultra wideband radar measurement in the cabin, and that we can use car access ultra wideband solutions, and that we can combine all of that. So we use ultra wideband as the most advanced motion detector. Are there people in the cabin? Is there an intrusion into the car? Is there a person breathing while you try to lock the car? So child present detection, these type of things. The same silicon can do that you normally need for your car access use cases. So no need to install additional silicon, but just an use case upgrade here. Uh, and we have this all in a software tool chain as well, nicely embedded. You can bring your solutions easily up and run from there in a smart way. Now, Ultra wideband is of course used in the vehicles, but ultra wideband is also used when you don't have rolling robots, but when you have firmly installed robots. And this is again the entire story around personal health, personal monitoring, and then at the end of the uh, uh, of the booth here, you see also a showroom, and that is our smart home showroom, and that is one of our flagship demos as well that we have here at the at the show. So let me quickly sneak around the corner here. Of course, we were always talking about heavy duty robots, big machines that can, can operate uh, uh, with a budget of kilowatts. But like for the insulate pod that I was showing you to the outside, we have a lot of devices, especially medical monitoring devices, devices that are very, very close to you personally, that have a very, very tiny, very limited energy budget. Now, what we are doing with our RT, iDotMX micro uh, uh, controllers and microprocessors, crossover machines that we're combining also microcontrollers and microprocessors, we have very, very advanced and smart solutions that are ultra energy efficient as long as they are in sleep mode. They can wake up bigger parts of the system in a very efficient way when needed. And that is, of course, used for your smartwatches, your hearing aids, uh, your insulin monitoring, uh, pacemakers, uh, all of these type of highly functional, safe, ultra energy efficient, highly secure 
devices that you need when you want to monitor your personal situation and when you want to take responsible action based on that. Now, the biggest complication that we see in the, in the industry is at the moment, how do we bring all of these smart electronics together and how do we bring them together in an interoperable way in your smart homes? Every one of us has a connected home. So lots of devices at home talking, but do they talk to each other? Not necessarily. And NXP is taking there a big step forward, a quantum leap that we are pushing here together with other partners in the industry is the so-called Meta standard. And Meta is a common language for smart home, smart connected devices. Like I'm talking here as a German English to all of you to make sure you can all understand me. Meta is the common language for all of these different devices. And what you then can do is you can start realizing use cases in your smart home. For example, where you link critical equipment at home, your stove to a Meta controller, a central brain of the, of the smart home, you can check how your garage is doing, how is your air quality doing, how is your heating, how is your, your present detection, um, what are your window blinders doing, what are your doors doing. And today a lot of us are struggling, we have all of these solutions at home, but none of them is talking to each other and also is not talking to the microgrid energy management. So if the solar cells are producing electric energy, do I charge my car, do I operate my fridge, is the dishwasher going on or does a member of my family switch on the hairdryer for five minutes. So how do I know all of that? How do I anticipate it? And how do I switch in an efficient way that it is fun for me? Furthermore, what you need to do is, of course, if you have such an open system, you need to make sure that there is AI and machine learning observing that there is no intrusion brought in by a spying device or by an attack from the outside world. So that can get very, very dangerous. Of course, you can compromise the entire system if you are not secure. And here this secure security monitoring, AI-based security monitoring is of course also one of the, the key topics that NXP and NXP security experts are bringing to the party. But follow me into our smart home and I'm gonna show you how we are dealing in a truly smart home. So welcome to our smart home experience. And as you can see here, we have built a complete smart home infrastructure. And I'm gonna show you now how these devices talking meta with each other are communicating with the central meta gateway in the house, but also how our customers already are bringing meta enabled devices into the market. So smart home equipment is of course all about dealing with smart thermostates, upgradable, thermostates, upgradable infrastructure, and our partner MicroEJ, they are working on um, software solutions, how we can maintain, upgrade uh, in an efficient way devices that are in the field for, for constant maintenance and upgrades. So here you can see this on the, on the smart thermostates uh, that we have installed in the wall. Then one of my favorite demos here is the company Deal has built a smart stove. Smart stove um, video enabled AI and machine learning detects whether I'm in front of the stove. If I'm away for too long, the stove can go into safety mode, can switch off to make sure that I don't start cooking, run out of the kitchen and then burn down the house uh, uh, because I don't pay attention uh, uh, to, the, to the infrastructure anymore. Of course, what we are doing is we are able to, to uh, bring via your pro uh, private devices uh, ultra wideband enabled uh, or meta enabled control solutions here uh, to the climate control. So I can have a very different profile than any of you. We can be together in one house. We can align on, on um, uh, compromise solutions, temperature, climate, and so on. So my family, me, we can even via AI and machine learning come to a, a, uh, a most agreeable climate in the house just by bringing our private devices. The smart home knows where we are and communicates it here to the meta enabled gateway. We have our tri-radio solutions in here. Uh, tri-radio means it is Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and threat. And this is the backbone, the basis for our meta-enabled uh, solutions, including voice controlled uh, operations. Uh, then of course, what we have is we have NFC enabled, uh, highly secure solutions as well, where you via NFC can touch devices via the app on your mobile phone, can operate them and can run them in this smooth way. And 
Last but not least, what we have just recently developed from first customers of ours is this is really meta gateway, so not only a smart plug, but it's also a gateway, uh, a mesh router uh, between the main hub and for example your window blinders just by a smart plug you can steer the plug of course as a as a normal energy efficient uh, steerable uh, smart plug but this device is also branching out then for example to magnetic sensors uh, for your window and door access uh, these type of things so home alarm smart home management all nicely merged with each other and all very very well integrated with each other and of course the magic then is the use cases that you can build up on these capabilities. And now let me show you one last thing and I'm gonna briefly interrupt that demo over here because what you also can do is using these ultra wideband capabilities that I had shown you with the car access uh, and with some of the other solutions, ultra wideband can also help us not only positioning but detecting in a very precise way. I said as radar and as positioning device. Now, if you put on top of your sound systems, like you see it here or here. If you put on top of your sound systems ultra wideband beacons, you can, without wiring, without a lot of, of complicated measuring, you can just place your speakers as you want to place them here in all areas. You can put eight speakers, uh, uh, seven speakers, five speakers, who cares about the room infrastructure, but these devices start measuring where they are, how far away from each other they are, and how your room looks like and where you are as a person because I'm wearing my uh, uh, ultra wideband beacons for example. The speakers are themselves connected with NXP Wi-Fi solutions, ultra wideband for positioning and you have a super advanced sound experience without a lot of installation needs and my kids can grab my uh, smart speakers, move them into, into their room, you can go to the barbecue outside, you can sit in your living room, you have full degrees of freedom, complete movability and that is of course also one of the super convenient topics that you can allow in your smart home and again these devices can via Meta talk to the rest of the home infrastructure so if you want to have a cinema mode shut down the window blinders, uh, set the climate to cinema mode uh, and get the sound system active. These are things that NXP is enabling seamlessly, barrier free, easy, without a lot of wiring and without a lot of hustle or system expertise on all of that. So if you just follow me to the outside again. Then of course what you're going to see is all of what I had shown uh, here to you is of course also visible on the internet. So you can join me in real life here in Vegas at the booth or you join me virtually via this video of course and via our homepage showroom.nxp.com. Uh, you can look into our showrooms and you can see 60 different use cases, dive deep into the different segments, be it transportation, be it industrial, be it smart home, or be it personal uh, health and, and, and personal monitoring. And the coolest thing is you can also see how these four segments start merging into each other and you can start building, of course, use cases by having all these digital twins of all these segments talking to each other and working with each other. So, where is Lars? How is Lars driving? Is Lars healthy enough to drive? When is he home? How do I need to climatize the house? Or is he in his uh, uh, factory? Is he approaching any robot or any smart uh, device around him? All work seamlessly based on NXP silicon, highly secure, functional, safe, and energy efficient. And that is what I wanted to show you here with that uh, tour, booth tour. Do me a favor, dive into the showroom.nxp.com and as always, if there is questions, you know how to reach me and especially you know how to reach our FAEs and NXP uh, tech experts um, uh, and I'm only standing on their shoulders. Uh, looking very much forward to have innovation discussions with you also in 2024. Big thanks for listening in. Talk to you soon. Thank you.